Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today I have a quick, fun, practical, and everything you probably have at home project to do. What we're going to need is some small scraps of our quilt batting, a piece of fabric, and an old picture frame. With these simple things, we're going to make a pin cushion. Now, this pin cushion is going to be inside the picture frame. So we're going to need that picture frame, take it apart, and we're going to need whatever's inside to give us a template. We're even going to use that glass. So to prepare the picture frame, I'm going to take a piece of cardstock and cut it the same size as that inside and make sure it lays nice and flat along the back. From there, I'm going to trace the inside of that little window. Now I have a little leaf sticking out here, and that's fine. I'm not really needing that part. I just want that outside measurement. Those lines that I drew are going to be stitching lines. So we just need to make sure that this will equal that when we put it in. Once we have our little template, we can choose a picture. And in this case, I want to have that rose in the middle of my pin cushion. And from here, I'm going to use some little quilt batting. The first shape, regardless if it's a circle, an oval, or an unusual shape, we need to cut one layer of batting just a little bit bigger. The next layer of batting, we're going to go a little smaller. A little smaller still and we're going to keep going smaller and smaller until we have this nice stack of quilt batting. Now I happen to have nine here and when it's all put together and squished down it's not going to be as puffy as you think it's going to be. So anywhere between eight to ten will be a good number of this little stack. I'm going to take one more piece and it doesn't need to be round because I will be trimming it down. I'm going to find the center and just lay that right on top. Take your picture and center it on top of that little pile. So I have the smallest one going to the largest one and that one large piece which is going to smooth all of that down. See if you like the way it looks, and then from there we're going to be able to continue. Pick all of this up, turn it over, and that's where this drawn piece is going to go. This is the outside of the frame. The inside is fitting right along that little line. So I want to stitch somewhere between this line and that outside. So what I will be doing is stitching in between this little area. So I'm going to just stack that up, make sure that my picture is centered, put an old needle on and stitch around, not going inside of that frame. So I've stitched all the way around. We can test that and make sure that everything looks good. Now I'm going to trim right around my template put my little stuffed pin cushion in and when I put that glass piece in that hard glass is going to help that pin cushion that puffy part come out more. Now put the stand on the back. I now have my pin cushion done. This is fun to have right beside your sewing chair. It can sit on a counter and look nice and yet it can store our needles. So when we're using it, it could just lie flat as we put our pins in. And when I do anything sitting beside my Easy Boy chair, I count what is in here. I have six pins and one sewing needle. And that way when I'm done the project, I always make sure that I have six pins and one sewing needle. So it's a quick project a pretty project and a practical project. And if you happen to do embroidery or needlepoint, you could definitely put that in the pincushion. 
Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. And I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I do have a newsletter. It's all free under So Very Easy. I do hope you come back. Bye for now.